when you first installed Communications Manager, you were prompted for a username and a password for the administrative account. So hopefully you wrote that down because we're going to pretend we're coming from a brand new clean installation and we're going to be getting in to administrate it. So how would I get there? Well, first, let's go ahead and take a look at the main screens that you'd run into. If you just type in the IP address, for example, that's my IP address to my machine, you would come up to this menu option of administration, self-care portal, which is the user interface, and the prime license manager. So if I needed to activate my licenses, I would go into that area. But we're focused on the administrative pages for now. So I'm gonna click on the Unified Communications Manager, and this brings me to the main page. Also brings me to another point. I could have come straight here if I typed my IP address and CCM admin. If I had typed that in, I would have come straight in to this page where it's prompting me to log in. So I'm going to put in my credentials to gain access uh, to the system. Oh, must have cached them, but let me get that in there, right? So here's my main administration page. Now that's what I call this page. I call it the main administration page. Theoretically, this is the page you spend most of your time. This is where we add phones, we add gateways, we add users, and then we administrate our route patterns, and, and we have lots of things that we spend time in here doing. But there are other administrative duties and pages that you can get into. If you look at this drop-down list here, you will see there's a reporting tool, there's the backup solution, the disaster recovery system, there's the serviceability screen, this is where we turn on and activate features on our different servers. There's the OS portion, and then there's the presence environment that we can gain access to. So if you wanted to, you could go straight to those web pages by typing the various commands after the IP address to get to those. For now, we want to focus on the fact that to gain access to this main administration page, you need to have the administrative credentials and the rights to get in here, and you need at minimum to have that IP address of the publishing server to gain access to these web page. 